Hi guys, Kirk J here with Kirk Giordano Plastery. Today we are spreading some an acrylic product over these stairs. You might have remembered if you watched what we do about a year and a half ago. We actually put a membrane down and did the cement work. Now this fellow is my neighbor, Carl. He was supposed to tile this, but he never did. He had this green right here, and he says, Kirk, next time you do a house with an acrylic, if it's a good color, will you do this for me? Uh, finish the color on here, and I thought, okay. We just happened to do this dark gray, and I showed it to him. He says, hey, that's what I'm talking about. Do that. So we're spreading an acrylic finish over stairs. What's the advantage? Well, if you put a coat of paint on this, say 10 coats, doesn't matter how many coats, within three years to five it can come off. This won't come off for about, well, it won't come off. It'll start to fade, but this stuff has sand in it. It's an acrylic. It'll last about 30, 40 years. It won't come off. It'll just start to fade and all that. That's the advantage of putting acrylic on a house. Generally, when you put it on stairs, it's tough to watch, wash the stairs. Like if you drop an egg on it, it's a real drag to get out. That's why people usually do tile. But for the sake of um, showing you folks how to do it, if you are considering putting an acrylic over stairs, you might say, well, man, I don't want to paint it. It's too much work. I'll show you how to do this stuff. You scoop it out of the acrylic bucket. And now, guys, there's about 20 different materials, acrylic finishes. Um, you name it, I've used them. What I'm going to use first is this big old trowel here. And just to get my my top. And guys, if you're afraid of getting dirty, don't use this stuff because it sticks to everything. It is messy, messy material. But most materials that are really good, uh, kind of a drag to clean up. This is not water cleanup. Okay, what we're going to do is, and what I've done guys already is, I've already done the top steps. I didn't want to bore you with an hour. Of course, then you would watch it for an hour anyhow. Uh, what we do is, we just get this on, and then we're going to float this. What does floating mean? That, that basically means we're going to uh, give it a sandy finish so it's rough. That way when you walk on it, kind of like a swimming pool where it'll have something to grip. In the summer, it's not such a, a, dra uh, a big deal, but in the winter time, when these are wet, you know, this sandy finish really helps out. Let's see, now that I got that, I'll switch off to my uh, little pull trial. Hey, Jay. Now that keeps a man's attention. I noticed something there. My wife says the only real secret to this is what is this? She says <laughs> how much they cost. She says the the smaller the item, the more it costs. Anyway, that sidetracked me for a minute there. If that don't get a man's attention, he's half dead. We're going here. We're gonna finish this little bit right here because my swim pull jaw doesn't want to get in those corners that are tight like that and again guys I've done this is my neighborhood I've done a lot of a lot of work for folks here they always say Kirk gee when you've got extra materials do this or that in fact across the street I got this same material on wooden steps and I told the guy I said dude you don't want to do it on wood I said if you do it on wood you're gonna be redoing it every three four years He's content. He's like, yeah, I'll redo that every three, four years because it's not made to go over wood. This It's made to go over a cementitious finish like what we're doing here. And because it's so, so hot, what I'm doing is two stairs at a time. I mean, granted, if it was even hotter, I'd have to do one step at a time because it's, it's drying very fast. And when you float it, you got to have some fat to work with. So you might say, what does that mean? Well, if I lose my fat and it's too thin a coat, then it just dries right up. I got to bring it back to life with water. Okay, just going to do these two here. Smooth this out. Drop it downtown here because I'm going to 
do that bottom step too. Again, guys, what is the advantage to an acrylic color code on a walkway? Well, this, this stuff here will last forever. With paint, paint would, would fail quickly. Even if you get the best paint money can buy, when you're walking on it, it just destroys the integrity of it. All right, that's put on there. I'm gonna take a sponge float, just water on the green sponge, clean my gloves here. And again, guys, if you're doing this stuff with this acrylic, it is messy stuff, so wear the raggediest clothes you got. All right, now what I'm doing is I'm pulling the aggregate out. This actually takes a little bit of practice in the hot sun. I have to keep turning this where if I don't have enough water, it'll drag it. So I have to dip this uh, sponge float into the bucket quite often to keep it wet. If it starts to drag, that means more water. Once a few years back, I had about 20 pails uh, well, more like 15 years ago. I had about 20 pails and they were filled with up in my driveway. Couldn't hardly move in there. I was getting ready to chuck them out and a buddy of mine says, hey, Kirk, uh, can I use that for my uh, concrete? And I said, sure. We mixed up about 20 different colors and spread it and today it is still on. It looks great. I forget the color. It was kind of a weird color, but it never came off. Uh, he did a little touch up in a, an area and did it with paint. A year later, that paint was coming off. So this shows you how strong this stuff is. Uh, these acrylics with the sand in them, oh man, they're great. They're great for doing a walkway here, but they are recommended for exterior walls on houses, stucco. I'm gonna just finish this guy here and I'm in my own light. I don't know what the camera picking up. But I'll just finish this little piece here. Get this guy here. A lot of stretching. See when it starts to drag. It's starting to drag right now. More water on the float. Can't have it dragging. Otherwise it's it's ugly. Alright. This actually what I'm doing here, it takes a lot of practice, guys. I gotta cover up the wire, cover up the cement, make sure there's no holidays, and you have to know the material. Meaning, I can look at it. If it starts to set and I, I don't have enough water, it drags it. It looks like hell when it's dry. So, Anyway, guys, I'm going to get back to doing this. I thought I'd uh, explain this acrylic material over a walkway. They use this on swimming pools often in the areas where people are walking. Why? Because it lasts so long. And two, because you won't slip if you're wet walking on it because of all the sand in it. Anyway guys, uh, acrylic over steps. My name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. As usual, we thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Once again folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below and also if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk and Jay. We thank you for watching, and from the entire Giordano family, we'll see you on the next one.